Recently, we've had a couple of community members share clever solutions for sleeving and kind of reinforcing EMT conduit together. The first one comes from Mark, who was recently building a shelf unit with his son. And the shelf is unique in the fact it needed to separate into two halves and then join back together once they got it in place in Mark's son's room. And the way they did this was really clever. They used off-the-shelf electrical couplings because they needed the two pipes to clamp separately or kind of individually. You can see there's a set screw on each pipe and it clamps down separately with a screwdriver and then secures it that way. But these are made for electrical work. They're not that strong for DIY projects. There's, there's a, a lot of slop in there and it's really just not made for this kind of a thing. So he still needed to use this coupling and had to figure out how to make it strong. So what Mark did was he got half inch EMT conduit, basically had it inside of the three quarter inch and stuck up like that and then the top half of the shelf when it was placed on top the half inch EMT kind of guided it down and then secured in the coupling like that and basically just added some rigidity to the joint it's still got some slop in there of course I haven't tightened it down yet but regardless it still adds rigidity to it and you know keeps this middle connection from being a weak point in the build which is really cool and very similar to that is Hyun's project which was a striking dummy and they needed the striking dummy to separate into two halves as well. The bottom half and the top half separated. The bottom half, or I guess the legs of the dummy, had a short piece of conduit coming up, actually two, basically side by side, with one of these electrical bushings on each side. And these are made uh, for electrical work as well. You can get them off the shelf. They're really inexpensive, and they just kind of push on the end of the conduit. And the reason that Hyon used these was basically to eliminate some of the slop between the joint. They used these rebar pins, which you can also get locally off the shelf, to basically create a rigid joint between the two pieces of conduit. But unlike Mark, Hyun didn't need this to be necessarily you know, a, a secured joint, so he didn't have to use a coupling or anything like that. Basically, it just sat kind of loosely like this and then had a strong you know, connection between the two. But then it was easy to kind of separate the two halves whenever they needed to do that. And this is why it's different, because of course you have the coupling in the other one, this one you have the electrical bushings, but they both kind of achieve the same thing, which actually brings up a good point. You technically could use half inch EMT conduit in between three quarter inch pieces of conduit like this, and still kind of you know achieve the same thing. These bushings eliminate some of the slop that's in there normally, and creates a joint connection between the two as well. So those are really cool, and I think they're unique scenarios and unique solutions. But I think they could be useful and helpful for all kinds of different things. If you like this video, leave a like and consider subscribing. We appreciate it and we'll see you in the next video.